And the latest one in the news today that's still unfinished is the SECURE Act. Right. You yeah. have a great acronym for that. It's, it's supposed to say setting every... I don't even know what it is, but I can tell you this. Uh, after 40 years of studying tax law, one thing that's always been true, whenever Congress names a tax law, you can almost always bet it will do exactly the opposite of what they name it. Remember the Budget Reconciliation Act? Yeah. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> so when I saw Secure come out, I said, hold on to your wallets. And sure enough, they took away some of the biggest benefits of holding retirement accounts. And most people still aren't, aren't aware of that. Yeah, so what they did was they eliminated something called the stretch IRA right. provision. So talk a little bit about that for people that may not remember, because that was a great tool that families could use to continue to defer taxes on on inherited retirement accounts, um, but it's gone now. Yeah, it's gone for most people. And again, most people, and uh, some advisors know about it, but they don't really know the rules. That's why you need an advisor that has specialized knowledge. That's why I created this group. My, you know, if I had a big master plan, I would hope that everybody with a retirement account, a 401k, an IRA, spent 20, 30 years saving for retirement, sacrificing building to have something later on would have an advisor that knows how to operate when it's time to cut take that money out i always call it the second half of the game that's where most advisors just don't have the knowledge and could really cause a, a mess because i we get called when we hear the the horror stories but back to your other question on the stretch ira that was a big provision lots of savers relied on for decades where they could have an IRA. And now this is about the next generation, not the person who earned its lifetime, where they wanted to accumulate and accumulate. And maybe they didn't spend it all. And a lot of people have accumulated large sums. And their plan was to leave it over to their beneficiaries, generally their children or sometimes grandchildren. And under existing law for 30 years or so, they could do what we called a stretch IRA, the ability of the beneficiaries to stretch out, as you said, defer payments over their lifetimes, 20, 30, 50, 70 years. Well, in the SECURE Act, Congress said, no more of this. The retirement Congress believes, and, and this was a big majority of Congress, I believe, I don't have, I think it was 419 to 5 or something, some amazing majority, even the uh, Secure 2.0 that's pro uh, promoted, uh, is, is uh, proposed now, it passed the full House 414 to 5. I mean, this is totally bipartisan, almost unanimous. Matter of fact, when Secure 2.0 uh, passed the House 414 to 5, I said, who are the five guys that are anti-retirement? But anyway, so there's big support and Congress felt in the SECURE Act that your retirement account, no matter what your plans are, no matter that you relied on tax law, which was your first mistake, uh, CPAs always have a saying, tax laws are written in pencil. All right. They change all the time. Yeah, right. And the Congress felt that your retirement account should be for you and your spouse, basically. And that's it. Not as a wealth transfer or a state planning vehicle to leave for 50, 60, 70 years to your kids. So they cut out this stretch IRA, that big deferral benefit. And most beneficiaries, children and grandchildren, except for spouses, spouses are okay, uh, will have to empty that full account within 10 years after your death, bunching all of the taxes into that short 10-year window, which means a lot of your planned savings are going to go to Uncle Sam. Yeah, I, I looked at that and my theory on why so many of our Congress people voted for that to go into effect was it was a way to increase revenue to the Treasury yeah. without raising taxes. Right, right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Starting your route to retirement.